Hey there fellow WordPress enthusiasts, welcome to Rackno TV. I'm Christian and today we have a very exciting topic to dive into installing WordPress with Docker on Alma Linux OS. And before I forget, ensure that you have an Alma Linux OS installed on your server before proceeding with this tutorial, as we will assume that you already have your server set up and running. But if you need a server still, check out our VPS hosting solutions at rackner.com forward slash kvm dash vps or check out our video tutorial on how to order a vps i'll link in the description down below next make sure that you have docker installed if not you can easily install it by running just a few simple commands we also have a guide on our channel that will help you out with this also so please make sure to check it out in the video description below now you may wonder why choose Alma Linux or Docker and what benefits does it bring to the table for your hosting? So stick around and we'll cover everything you need to know before the end of this video. All right, let's get down to business. Alma Linux OS is a Linux distribution designed as a drop-in replacement for CentOS, providing long-term support and stability. When it comes to hosting websites, it is an excellent choice for several reasons. Number one, stability and security. Alma Linux OS is built with stability and security in mind. This means that you can have peace of mind knowing that your website will be up and running smoothly. Number two is long-term support. As a server-grade operating system, Alma Linux OS offers long-term support, ensuring your website stays up-to-date and secure. Number three, compatibility with Docker. Alma Linux OS is fully compatible with Docker, which is fantastic for running applications in containers like WordPress. And Docker is an incredible tool that allows us to create lightweight, portable, and self-sufficient containers for our application. This means that we can have consistent environment for running WordPress, regardless of underlying systems. It streamlines the deployment process, reduces conflicts, and makes scaling a breeze. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the step-by-step -step tutorial for installing WordPress with Docker on Alma Linux OS. So let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get started. Okay, so now let's go ahead and log in to our server and then update our server before anything else. Run the following command to update your server. And as always, I am using Bitvice SSH client and you can download and install it in your Windows machine. The link to this is in the description down below if you want to follow along but feel free to use other SSH clients like PuTTY or anything else that feels good. It's your choice and the commands won't change. Furthermore, this may take a while, especially if you haven't updated your server in a couple of days. The speed will also depend on your internet connection. Now let's pull the WordPress Docker image from the Docker hub. Open your terminal and use the following command. Okay, great. After pulling the WordPress Docker image, the next step is to create a MySQL database container. This container will serve as the database server for our WordPress installation. Here's the command to create the MySQL container. Just make sure to modify the values after the equal sign or symbols according to your preference, okay? For better security, make sure that you use a strong and unique password. So this command uses the docker run command to create a new container named WordPress DB using the MySQL latest image from Docker Hub. The dash E flags are used to set environment variables for MySQL configuration, such as the root password, database name, username, and password. The container will run in detached mode, dash D, meaning that it will continue running in the background. Excellent. Once the MySQL database container is up and running, it is time to set up the WordPress container that will host our WordPress application. Here's the command to do exactly that, and it will create your WordPress container for you. Again, you can choose your own values for the environment variables, but it's crucial to ensure that the values specified in the command line matches the values set in the previous command. As they establish the connection between the WordPress container and the MySQL database container, this command also uses the docker run command to create a new container named WordPress using the WordPress image from Docker Hub. The dash E flags are used to set environment variables for the WordPress configuration, such as the database host, username, password, 
The dash P flag maps port 80 from the host to port 80 in the container, allowing us to access the WordPress site via the server's IP address. The dash dash link flag establishes a link between the WordPress container and the previously created WordPress DB container, allowing them to communicate with one another. It's important to note that the values used for environment variables here are related to the configuration of the WordPress application and connection to the previously created MySQL database container. Let me explain. So the WordPress underscore db underscore host in the command points the WordPress container to the host name of the MySQL database. The WordPress db is the name of the MySQL container. The WordPress underscore db underscore user, this specifies the MySQL username that WordPress will use to connect the database. It should match the value set in the previous command. Furthermore, the WordPress underscore DB underscore password, this specifies the MySQL password that WordPress will use to authenticate with the database. And the WordPress underscore DB underscore name, this specifies the name of the MySQL database that WordPress will use to store its data. And that's it, WordPress is now ready on our Docker container. All we need to do is simply open our web browser and enter our server's IP address to complete the WordPress installation. To do this, enter your preferred admin credentials for your WordPress site, and you should be able to, to access your WordPress site once done. So as you can see here, we have successfully installed WordPress with Docker. Congratulations, now you can pretty much manage your WordPress site all you want, add content and anything else. The possibilities are quite literally endless with WordPress and Docker. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more web hosting related content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out Rackner.com for reliable and affordable VPS hosting solutions. Plus, if you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.